Hey guys, it's Lauren here. You would not believe it, but this is my third attempt at doing this voiceover. I even yawned in the intro of the last attempt. I do not know what's happening with me today. So bear with me, but I really want to share this layout with you that I've been asked to create as part of the Hip Kit Club design team using the beautiful August kits. Now these August kits are packed full of beautiful things, pretty little studio, crepe paper, this is and this layout predominantly is using the new Maggie Holmes crepe paper collection called hmm I think it's heritage let me check that out for you I think it's heritage will you let me know if it's not heritage <laughs> because clearly I'm not having a good day today um but yes this beautiful collection just really resonated with me and the team challenged me today to do a couple of things I probably wasn't overly comfortable with. One was scrapbooking a selfie. So there I am in all my glory. <laughs> and also to use um, some stitching, do some stitching on my layout. I'm, I'm a busy mum and I find stitching very time consuming. So that was a challenge for me. Um, and also to use a cut file. So I, I can easily nail that one. That's, that's not an issue, especially I'm using the beautiful exclusive uh, hip kit club subscriber free cut, uh, cut file this time and that's that beautiful floral wreath there um, and yeah so you'll see me floundering a little bit here because I had no idea what this layout was going to turn into I just knew what I was challenged to do and I just sat down with all the goodies um, that sort of kind of went with the tones of the papers that I was using and the tone of my photo and I just went for it and I've ended up with a almost a monochromatic layout um, with you know as it ended up I ended up with a monochromatic layout but it really it came together and gave me a little bit of time to sort of reflect on why don't I why don't I like scrapbooking selfies um, I think it's a really uh, Probably because I share a lot of my layouts on social media, uh, usually you only see my hands um, or me in a group photo with my family or, you know, a photo with my daughter or something like that. Um, but just to have me centre stage, sometimes, you know, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one in thinking along those lines. But it just, this layout took a little time to come together, as you'll see, I'm sort of popping from here to there to here to there it gave me a little bit of time to think about why that actually is and and you know why it's important for me to scrapbook myself and delight in who I am at this age so I don't know let me know in the comments if you have trouble scrapbooking selfies of yourself um, and and let me know why you think that is or ways that you've sort of overcome that um, I am now 40. I celebrated my 40th birthday this year and I think with that came came some confidence. It came, it, it, I definitely felt that I knew I, I'm excited about the next chapter of my life and it, it was a positive time. Um, so I'm going to really challenge myself to scrap more selfies and document mo more moments that I'm having as me as a 40 year old woman so that my children when they're looking back through my albums if they ever do but if they decide to do they can see my journaling they can see my face they can see who I was at 40 they can see who I was at 50 and all those things and um, they can sort of connect with me as the 40 year old me when I might be 75 who knows <laughs> so that's my thinking at the moment um yeah it'll probably change I'm sure all my thinking was different at 30 I was probably looking a lot less wrinkled and would be ha more happy to scrapbook selfies um who knows but yeah so anyway back onto the layout because I'm completely going off track so as you can see, I've sort of, as I do, I set these layouts out, I work out what I'm happy with, where I think I want my product placement to be. Um, I'm thinking about the photo, I'm thinking about what I've been challenged to do and sort of, sort of set it out. And then the rest of it sort of comes together. Sometimes it ends up 
looking exactly the same. Other times it ends up evolving and I think that's part of the joy, you know, the joy in the journey is that you get a bit of a guide, you move along, your creative mind kicks in and you start sort of evolving your layout and turning it into what you, your masterpiece that is, is the end result. Um, so here I am doing the stitching component and there were these cute little pink paisley wood veneer pieces in this month's kit and it had this little heart there and I thought yes this is the easiest way to tick off that uh, stitching component of my challenge so instead of stitching the entire thing um, I knew that would be time consuming I stitched a heart just around the outside of all the little the, the holes that were pre- pre-punched for us in this uh, in this little set um, and then you'll see me shortly using some acrylic paint to highlight that heart and really make it stand out but and uh, but I feel like yes I really nailed that stitching element without having to spend too much time on it but you know I, looking back it it loves it gives a lovely little sort of handmade textured feel here I am I just pulled some acrylic paint off my shelf and I just wanted to highlight that heart a little bit more because I used a embroidery th thread that was very similar color to the wood veneer and it wasn't standing out as much as I like so just a bit of finger painting there which is also always <laughs> fun to do and um, just finishing it off there with my paintbrush just to get in all those little edges and there you can see that really heart that heart is standing out but has that little bit of te texture of stitching around the outside which is really lovely um yeah so here we go now as you can see that I've cut these strips and I've put them along the background now when you're you working with pattern paper and strong pattern paper um, it's nice to use some mixed media or a contrast behind your photo so that you don't lose your photo within the background. And those spots, those gorgeous, painty, vintagey spots, I really wanted to have as my background, but they are a slightly off white. So if I'd used a mixed media product like an acrylic paint or a gesso, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to match that color white to wash out that background a bit and blend it. So I pulled out this um, coordinating pattern paper and just by me filing back the edges, cutting them into strips and layering layering across the, the pattern paper behind my photo, I've managed to be able to sort of separate the background and the photo without losing the colour tones and it helps my photo sort of jump off the page a little bit and that spot is absolutely gorgeous and fun but when my photo is sitting on it without anything on the background it, it takes over and that's what I don't I didn't want to occur I really want my photo to be the highlight of the the page and so the way I've achieved this is just making these strips so it is kind of it's taking the place of what I would usually do as a mixed media component using mists and sprays and powders. Um, it is doing that job for me and really separating that background, but also keeping true to that color palette and that, that particular white and that particular sort of musty purpley violet color there that is the background so see as you can see it's sort of really okay now you can the photo standing off more the other thing I pulled out of my stash was just this lace doily and I just wanted to once again add that extra layer just to help separate me from the pattern paper and just by simply adding a little bit of a lace doily some vellum or something along those lines that's not overly powerful you can achieve a really great result there so I wanted the layout my photo and the cut file just to stand off the page a bit so I'm just adding some foam tape there and that will help that dimension and it'll also allow me to add my embellishments in and help them sort of create have their own level within the within the within the layout piece there so here I am just playing around with these um, little cut file elements these were from I think August last year's free subscriber cut file so if you're interested in having a look at these um, gorgeous little leafy pieces then chop, um, jump onto the website if you haven't already downloaded it and I think it was August 
2018 was when this one came out. It was definitely around that time anyway. And I um, cut them in that sort of torpy colour just to bring in those tones of my shirt and um, I guess my hair. I'm pretty sad that I'm saying grey hair. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Anyway, so that's just added another little bit of a contrasting colour, but really not, um, you know, taking away from the over the overall feel. So here I am now looking for some embellishments, and I found the the um, gorgeous little set there by Vicky Booten, um, these dimensional little butterflies, and I was able to separate those butterflies from their colourful background to get that beautiful um, black, white, grey with a little bit of a gold fleck. Um, in there as well to keep with my kind of monochromatic thing that just sort of evolved on its own it wasn't the plan and I also pulled out these pretty little studio frames these are the cutest things ever if you see these in a scrapbooking shop or online pick them up they are super cute and they really stand out and you get oodles of these fun little frames in this pack that are all different in their varying ways but still have that same theme so I thought I'm not wasting whole ones and I'm going to cut them up and just insert them under so they look like the full frames in there but I'm just using pieces and I've got some nice um, bold black and white words there just to help um, my title kind of jump off the page. I'm using my favourite trusty glue there, my wet glue, which is a Tombow glue. Um, I'm running low and I've just messaged my favourite scrapbooking store love to create in um, in New South Wales here. And, um, and I've said, please order me some more. So she's going to get some of those in for me as well. Um, yeah. Sorry, just a bit of a pause there. Okay, so yeah, so I've been cruising along. I'm placing all my elements out. I'm putting on my wood veneers now. And um, yeah, I'm having a bit of bit of a good time just playing around because I've kind of got my mojo. I'm kind of going, yeah, I know where all these things are need to go. I've got my title. The, um, the black and whites help sort of bring it all together. I've got that lovely uh, monochromatic feel. And I'm going to finish off with these gorgeous vellum butterflies that I... Um, of Vicky Putin's boy oh boy she makes some fun stuff I just I just love her stuff um yeah so these little butterflies um are going to be my little feature piece and the the little the little live elements that bring bring the layout together and I'm going to puff those wings up so they look really 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 cute um once again I just wanted to highlight that little cute vintage heart there that I'd made so I'm just grabbing my white um white pen there that's a uni ball pen which is really great and just bordering that and creating a little inky stitch there just to highlight that heart and there you have it one more little wood veneer piece coming if I can pick it up and that will finish off my layout. So I really hope that you like this layout and how it's come together. If you're not familiar with the Hip Kit Club, all the details are in the description below. I want you to check it out. We are a great community and you get a fabulous scrappy kit on your door each month. Um, and there are add-on kits that you can add on um, if they if they jump out at you each month and yeah we just have a whole lot of fun it's a really positive environment we have a facebook group as well we can share your in your layouts and we can all comment and see what everyone's up to um and yeah if you like my style and you're new to my channel i'd love you to subscribe and if you love this layout give me a like because it really helps my channel out and i'll be back again really soon with another layout take care guys bye Thank you.